Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley. You're tuned into the NFL on EA Sports. We've got a big-time divisional showdown in the NFC East, featuring Carson Wentz and the Eagles taking on Dak Prescott and the boys. With that, let's welcome in our fine broadcast team. Here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Larry, we find ourselves right in the center of the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex in Arlington and AT&T Stadium. A moment ago, the Cowboys introduced to this gigantic crowd, and as usual, it was old number 88, Des Bryant, that got the folks going the loudest. His guys are set to go head-to-head -head with the Philadelphia Eagles. And hi again, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you take a look at our matchup here. You've got to believe that this is a game that might be won in the trenches. Oh, without question. This is big person on big person, big unit against big unit. Meat on meat. Oh, you got it all. Pick your cliche. But we know this. The ground's going to shake. Things are going to rumble. And they're going to have an impact on today's game. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And we are underway from AT&T Stadium. We'll see if the Cowboys offense can bounce back up off the mat after a 27-7 defeat at the hands of Atlanta last week. And Dak Prescott, speaking of bouncing off the mat, he was down on the ground a lot in that game, Charles. Sacked eight times, hit a total of 11 times. And I know Ezekiel Elliott did not play, and the offense only had 233 total yards. But Dak Prescott is an improved quarterback. He can play without the running game supporting him if you block for him. And he was under siege in this game. You talk about being sacked eight times, hit a total of 11 times. If that's going to happen, he won't be able to make the plays they need to win games. Now it's the Florida Atlantic alum. This is Alfred Morris. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. Second down and four. Out of the gun. Here's Prescott going right side. He has Witten. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Dak fighting his tight end. Witten and the Cowboys have a first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. set of downs. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? Stay on the ground. Again, it's Morris. And this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. No gain on the play there. Second down. Here's the offense, and I don't know what more you can say at this point in his career about Jason Witten. He's just giving full respect. This is a guy who knows how to do everything on the football field. Not just catch the ball, but huge in the run game with his blocking at the line of scrimmage. So second and ten here. Here's Prescott. Got a man over the middle. It's Williams. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. The reception good for seven. It's third down.
third down and four. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. Complete to Jason Witten. And he'll be taken down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A good pick up there, 20 yards. I don't believe that this opening drive is surprising to either one of us after the time we spent with the coaching staff and players prior to the game. What about you? Absolutely. Not only that, but that big article in the paper this morning about their philosophy on starting games like you're shot out of a cannon, and that's what they've done. Very methodical here on this first drive. Yeah, so many teams talk about that fast start. We're actually seeing it happen right here in front of us. But now the kicker. Can they cap it off by putting the ball in the end zone? Here's Morris, down right around the 25. A gain of three, second down. And the defense now for the Eagles. Fletcher Cox is a Pro Bowl, all pro talent at defensive tackle. And even though he didn't have his best year in 2016, still warranted double and triple teams from opposing offenses. If he's singled up, he usually finds his way into the opposing backfield to wreak a little bit of havoc. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And able to push his way forward here for a good little gain. Four yards on the pick up there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for a first. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short gain. Prescott from the gun on third. Well, it's caught on the right side at Smith. Call it a three-yard game, and that'll bring up fourth down. A short gain that doesn't get them the first down, brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. So on fourth down, Jason Garrett sends in his field goal unit. It'll be from the right hash, and it'll be a 36-yarder. And the 12-year veteran knocks it right through, and the Cowboys are going to jump out to a 3-0 lead. And the first three points of the night belong to our home team as they get the field goal on the game's initial drive. A good, solid drive. It didn't wind up in the end zone, but that's okay. You've got something positive on the board, and you've got the early lead. Back out Nugent now after the field goal as he'll send it away. This is taken at his four. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. So now here comes the Eagles offense as they get ready to take over. Leading them is their second-year quarterback, also the number two overall pick a season ago, Carson Wentz. Many wondered if the Eagles gave up way too much to get the number two pick from Cleveland in order to draft Carson Wentz. But after his freshman campaign in the NFL, I think people believe they see positive signs from a big, strong-armed guy, an intelligent guy, and a really competitive player. First is Wentz. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Justin Durant coming on the blitz. He gets him for a loss of seven. 
Well, that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. In a blink of an eye, that happened fast and a big sack. Throwing on second down. It's caught by Aguilar. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. Well, clearly one of his advantages as a passer is his height. Sit back in the pocket, fired over the middle. That makes things tougher defensively, doesn't it? It really does because your goal is to move the quarterback off his initial spot when he gets his drop back completed. But when you have that type of height, he can stay in there. If he's willing to take the hits and just fire over the top, which saves him time and actually completes a play a little bit quicker than it normally does for a quarterback has to slide and find open space to throw. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. They came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. Donnie Jones set to punt it away now in his 14th year in the NFL as he's on to punt for the first time tonight. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. Now the Cowboys offense heads back onto the field. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, Run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. Now a play fake here on first down. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. Brandon Graham in there to drop him, and it'll be a loss of about eight. Sometimes I watch games and wonder why they use play fakes on certain passing situations because it's not going to fool anyone. I don't know if that was the case here, but the end result was the same. No one fooled. The quarterback was hit. Second down, Prescott, and incomplete there. A nice hit, jars the ball free, and brings up third down. And Charles got to like what this defense has been able to do these last couple of plays. Yeah, they get the sack on first down, then they force the incomplete pass. Now they're just a play away from getting the football right back, but it's a big play. They've got to hold up. Third down. It's Smith. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 11, he goes down. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. Well, as an offense, you know, some drives you have it, some drives you don't. And this one looks like a you don't. Yeah, no doubt about it. I mean, it was third and long. It was screaming for a pass. I think they tried to outguess him there with the running play. They didn't fool him at all. Went in the wrong direction. Now the seventh-year man, Chris Jones, on to kick. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Now fair catch is called for and taken at the, we'll call it the 37-yard line. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, see if they can get a little momentum. 
And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how defense reacts. It may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got a look at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. Let's see if they open things up. Let's see what the defense does here too after a good stop. Now it's the Boise State alum, Jay Ajayi. A nice pick up there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Absolutely love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed, and he's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers, and they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. Today. Listen, you got to feed them first. But if you do, you usually get a great product out on the field. And when they play well, the quarterback can't wait to feed them afterwards. to Zach Ertz, and he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. An eagle first down wins to Ertz. Like so many tight ends nowadays, they have no problem at all putting him in the slot and letting him go to work, and that's a nice pitch and catch right there for a first down. So the offense has it first and 10. This is a Jai. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. And now the defense for Dallas. When the Cowboys selected Anthony Hitchens, they knew they were getting a productive college linebacker, one who tackled really well and was able to diagnose plays. But what they also got was a guy who could also cover running backs out of the backfield, showing a dose of speed to run down plays. See if they stay on the ground for second down. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Ajayi. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Six yards on the pickup, and that'll bring up a third and one. Getting had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one? Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. And on third down, the Cowboys bring in an extra defensive back. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. So here we go, first and 10 now. Now they'll throw it, Wentz. It's hauled in by Torrey Smith. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. A good pick up there, eight yards on the first down completion. 
And that's one of his advantages of a passer, is it not? With his height, setting back there in the pocket, firing it over the middle, he can really see everything clearly. It is, and I know that other quarterbacks get it done different ways, all right? You don't have to be his height to make a great play. But what he does is he takes away having to make those slide steps in the pocket to find angles to throw the ball through. He just throws right over the top of it because he can see everything. And sometimes that saves time and gets the ball to a receiver quicker. They get five out of that one and it moves the chains. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. But slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. And the defense with their backs against the wall a little bit here as the offense is in the red zone. They run for the Giants. And they'll get to him just inside the 15, even after that strong run we witnessed. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. So just a lone field goal in this first quarter of play. 3-0 is our score. We're back to Arlington in just a moment. The NFL on EA Sports is fueled by Gatorade, the sports fuel company. Back live with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. It's the Eagles with the ball here to begin quarter number two. They face a second and seven to start things out. for six. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. And this is up and good to make it 7-3. A 10-play drive that time. The result, Philadelphia in the end zone. now to kick this one away. This one fielded at the five. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. They go play action here on first down. And he's got the connection to Cole Beasley. Look at the spin. Balance. And they do finally get him, but he takes it to the 25. It's a big play for the Cowboys on third. 46 yards. As we continue to advance in the NFL, as people continue to scout players, they really don't care as much about body types as they care about those guys who could make people miss 
run through tackles, and gain all that additional run after catch. Anybody who has that ability, they want them on their team. Prescott. And this is caught at the end. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Des Bryant, 25 yards for the touchdown. And the Cowboys are in for six. As more and more up-tempo football creeps into the NFL game, some coaches don't think time of possession matters anymore. I believe we found one of them. Now Mike Nugent for the extra point. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. The long touchdown pass gets him six on a very, very tidy two-play drive that time. Now it's Nugent out to kick it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the inline. Dak Prescott on the offense heading back onto the field. Been a decent start for him here in this first half, but they're losing. And I think as the captain of the offense, you probably always feel like you need to do more in that situation. The best have always felt that way. And they won't settle for anything less. So right now, his goal is to increase what he's doing on the field, try to make sure his teammates come along with him, and he feels like, if I do better, everyone will do better. And that's what we're seeing from him right now. Got to have a little extra determination. Yeah, a little extra determination. He has thrown the touchdown pass. No interceptions for him personally to this point. Throwing his wins. And that is incomplete. Torrey Smith, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. Let's face it, you can run the route tree as many times as you want, get in sync, practice it, do all those things. But once you get to game speed, it doesn't always time up quite that well. That one goes incomplete. So the incomplete pass brings up second down. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll wind up with about six, up past the 30 to the 31. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. From the gun on third down, wins. Aguilar has it. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. Crisis averted, almost picked. Instead, second down. Oh, 
Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum, big play, right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense if that fell harmlessly to the ground. his way forward here for a good little game. on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This will be third and five. From the gun, it's Wentz. And that is incomplete. I'm not sure we could spot any tendency here on this third down. They could have run it or passed it. Either one was available. They chose to try and get it through the air, but they were unsuccessful. Here's Donnie Jones now. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. And this will be up to the ruling of the side judge here. He says it crossed out of bounds at the 16-yard line. The offense for the Cowboys now working their way back onto the field. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. quickly there as he gets it up only to about the 17. Just a yard on the pickup there and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far and after that last run not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going and really the offensive line not helping him much. A second down throw for Prescott. And this one complete to Witten over the middle. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. He can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. And he powers his way up past the 30. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Tough running there. That's a hard-earned four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. They run again with Morris. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. Scott off play action. A hit as 
as he throws there incomplete. Cole Beasley, the intended target, and that'll bring up second down. Well, we always talk about how you've got to be quick when you go through your progressions, and here's another prime example. Trying to look downfield, he was standing in the pocket, but just couldn't find anyone open, could he? No, not enough time. They hit him and forced that incompletion. They'll run it here with Smith. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. I've yet to meet a wide receiver who likes to block more than catching the football, but the best ones understand that that's how they'll actually get more passes thrown to them if they help in the run game. And anytime you get a run of that yardage, that means the wide receivers did help. They get down to what a lot of people call the second level, the linebackers, or the third level where the defensive backs are, and they get out in front and put their bodies out there and create more space for their runners to gain the yardage. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 47. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Ah, oh, yes, that's today's NFL defensive tackle. Not just a space eater anymore. A guy with agility, movement skills, who can rush the passer and make plays in the offensive backfield. scared me a little bit because he's not daunted. Just got right back up, showed some confidence, and picked up a first down with his very next run. to Smith and he will lose yardage here to the 31 yard line that's going to go as a loss of a yard and it'll be second down he came out ready to play that's three tackles for a loss Charles rolling the second quarter and that's problematic for the guys trying to run offense because that means he's got a pretty good idea of what they're doing and is actually beating them to the point of attack and making those plays might have to think about some misdirection or something to try and get him away from the ball Try to throw now. Prescott. Throw left side caught by Butler. An agile move and a nice gain, then dropped at the 25 yard line. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. In recent years, the slot receivers really gained stature in the NFL because they could do so many things. Yes, they can line up wide like your normal wide receiver, but to have that kind of courage and toughness to run routes in the middle of the field and become dependable targets for their quarterbacks and move the sticks, those guys are worth their weight in gold. Prescott from the gun. The open man is Smith. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. A gain of seven, and they pick up the first. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defense side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. fight his way forward here for a modest gain. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. They run with 
Morris. Morris. He'll get this down inside the 10 for a pickup of about three. That's some good tackling there to keep him short of that yellow line. Yeah, and defensively, all I'm thinking is that on that play, get me to third down. Get me into a position where I can make one more play and get my defense off the field. The Cowboys on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. They'll run it now out of the gun. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. And Nugent puts it through. And the lead stretches to six here. It's 13-7. So a 15-play drive. Can't believe that only resulted in three, but it did. That is somewhat amazing, isn't it? When you hold the ball that long, run offense that well, yet only put three points on the board, it has to be a little bit of a disappointment, doesn't it? it? Has to. Back out Nugent now after the field goal as he'll send it away. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And he'll very wisely take a knee here as they'll bring this one out to the 25 on the touchback. Back out for another drive comes LeGarrette Blunt. Now, I'm not going to say you completely abandon the passing game, but it would really behoove them to get this running game going more. That's the identity most teams are seeking. Able to establish themselves, control a game by running it, have to touch it multiple times in order to have success in this game. Yeah, as we say, yeah, that's right. As we say all the time, that sets up the passing game. I feel like a broken record with that. Listen, we can be broken records all we want. Bottom line is, lather up that big horse <laughs> and let him run. On first and ten, here's Wentz. This complete left side to Aguilar. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. to keep the drive moving. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Some runs are blocked so well, you almost forget that someone has to carry the ball to gain the yardage. The leverage by the offensive line to create space up front, really well done. Second down, here's Wentz. 
A minute 57 to go in this first half. We're back to Arlington right after this timeout. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Larry Ridley is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. The Eagles on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Throwing now is Wentz. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Timeout called by the Cowboys defense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. The defense, they got a little bit of a breather. Now they're back and set as we resume play. Here's Donnie Jones now as he's on to punt for Philadelphia. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Taken in at the 22. It'll be a 10-yard return following a punt of 45. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. And our focus shifts here to Alfred Morris. We're in the second quarter. They've got the lead. The lead, though, not so much because of the ground game, because of their air attack, Charles. So what they're seeing so far is the possibility of things loosening up later in the ground game. Through the air first, maybe they have to start respecting that even more as the game goes on, and then there will be running lanes to find later. Yeah, try to get him more involved here on this drive, maybe. They begin the drive with Morris. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. And this is an example of breaking down a defense, because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack, and guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. First and ten, Prescott. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. Second down following the incompletion. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. They get six here after the incompletion, and it'll leave them with a third and four. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. As they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. And welcome back, the offensive unit. They took the timeout, and now they get set to line up as we resume action. The Cowboys on third down, two for five to this point. This is third and four. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. And able to catch it on the left sideline, but they're going to rule him out of bounds. So it'll be incomplete, certainly one they'd like to have back as it brings up fourth down. 
sometimes the coverage is so good, no matter what you're doing on offense, you just can't shake anyone free. They try their best to find someone open, but they took away every passing alley, every angle, and shut the play down. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. Out of bounds as he appeared to be looking for the corner. He got it. They're going to mark this at the four-yard line. The Eagles offense now gets set to head back onto the field. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you've got to figure if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk, this is a big decision here. Here's a handoff to Ajayi to begin the drive. And he'll find a little space. He gets us up near the 10. Now before the second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. So the offensive unit called the T.O. And now we are ready to resume play. Second down following the run. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll take this one only up to about his 13-yard line. And prior to this third and two play, we're going to get a timeout call. As they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. And we're back. The offense had a chance to talk things over. We'll see what they come up with here on this next play. The Eagles on third down, two for five to this point. This time they face a third and two. Shotgun now for Wentz. Completes it to Aguilar. And he'll have the first down as he's up to about the 18. They get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. Going old reliable there to the slot on third down. And the slot position has become the bane of just about every defense's existence because how do you cover? Do you go with a bigger guy to try and use size? Can I go with a, try to go with a quicker guy and sometimes even get out quick there? Very difficult to match up with that slot receiver. That's why they keep going back to him. And he's had the hot hand. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he's going to be taken down here as that will lead us to the end of the first half of play. Thanks, Brandon. Thanks, Charles. And welcome to our EA Halftime Report. I'm Larry Ridley. The Cowboys are happy to be sitting in the locker room with the lead. The Eagles just want to come out after the half and claw their way back into the game. All right, here we go. Let's take a look at some of the highlights from the first half. Now first and 10, Graham's gonna push his way to the QB here. This will go for a loss of eight. Eagles on second and seven. Wentz is gonna find his mark, and 13 yards later, he'll go in for the score. The lead grows to four. First and 10, Prescott gonna connect here with big number 88, Des Bryant. And this will go all the way for a touchdown. 
the Cowboys up by a field goal. All right, Larry, thank you. A fairly tight game here as we get set to resume play in this second half. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Out come the Eagles now as they'll go on offense first here in the third quarter. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors. But overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up. And we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. Wentz now on first down. Ertz over the middle. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pick up on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Offense in a good spot here, second and two. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. Well, we always talk about good down and distance, allowing offenses to expand their playbook. Well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. But a lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yardage runs, and goes to one of those. Now the offense lining up first and ten. Now a play fake here on first down. And the reception made by Alshon Jeffrey. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. They've really been able to contain Alshon Jeffrey. That catch a rare exception in this game. And that's a feather in their cap because he's such a tone setter for his team on offense that they try and get him the ball early. And, of course, what comes after that is often and for them to limit him and him not catch a ball until the second half, it's a big reason why his team is behind on the scoreboard. Wentz now on first down. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Smith. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Completed pass play. Now let's see if they go back to the air or to the ground. On second down, they'll try and run the counter. And he'll go down at the 28. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. Not too many more ideal situations in second and two in order to try and pick up a first down. They ran it and picked it up. So they pick up the first down after the run, and now they approach for the fresh set. Wentz now to throw. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. It's a lot of contact going on there, and in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. Unable to connect on the first down pass play. Now it's second down. Three. 
And he'll give it here to his running back. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. A nice pickup there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. The more football I watch, the more I want to check and see if teams are going to panic when they're down on the scoreboard. And this team has shown no signs of doing that. A lot of the time, they come out after the half. Things haven't worked so well in the first go around. They want to throw the football like crazy. But the way to open up throwing the ball is to run it. And they've run it well here to start the second half. Now a first carry for LeGarrette Blount. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. So under the category of, while it can't be us because we're not that good, but could you imagine if this was you? LeGarrette Blount, his first 1,000-yard season since, what, 2010, his rookie year, and 18 touchdowns in a regular season? <laughs> And no longer with New England. He is over 30 now. He turned 30 in December. I don't know if that played a factor, but yeah, such a productive year, and then he's gone. Well, that just... And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Well, Garrett Blunt, a 13-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles are now just an extra point away from grabbing the lead. And there you go. Nothing really too complex. Block, keep your assignments. Let him run it in. They did it. Fundamental football. Good blocking. Beats good tackling on that play. End result, touchdown. Elliott now to add the extra point. And that one puts them on top here in the third. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it ends in a touchdown run by LeGarrette Blunt. Elliott now to kick this one away. Here comes Ryan Switzer to return it. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30 to the 33-yard line. The Cowboys offense now. They head out for their first possession of the second half. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Yeah, shocker. <laughs> try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. We'll see what they have up their sleeve. Here's a handoff to begin the drive to Morris. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. That one good for 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. I remember a coaching friend of mine used to tell his running backs before games, make sure you run and jog with your offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking when those big behemoths start to create space for you up front. He did a pretty good job of just following those guys through there for a nice explosive run. Now it's a bootleg with Prescott. Completes it to Jason Witten. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they'll march up another 15 against your squad. Fresh set of downs here. Four down, four down. 
Yeah. They give this time to the tailback. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that'll bring up a second and 11. Every year I go to the combine and marvel at the speeds that linebackers are running nowadays. They run like DBs, and let's face it, they know how to finish plays, too. Eyes up, head up, run right through them. So now 11 yards to go for this offensive unit. It's second down. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll go down at the 28. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that is going to set up a third and one. Really tough drive, but that run help salvage something there because now there's something positive that came out of it. They got to see good blocking, good push by the offensive line, wide receivers trying to get involved, a good run by the back, and now maybe it'll be a catalyst for them to look at going forward, watching it on tape. Maybe they can keep incorporating that type of a run into their offense. The Cowboys on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. Looking to throw. Prescott. He's going to go down here, a sack. They push him back to the 34. Michael Kendricks in there to drop him for a four-yard loss, and it'll be fourth down. You and I both know we're into a whole new realm of football because we're not just looking at tendencies anymore. We're looking at analytics, and I've got to think the analytics on third and one say run the football. So now the field goal unit trots out there for the third time tonight. This is a 49-yard attempt. Right hash. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. It's picked up. It's a foot race. He's at the 40, 20, 10, 5. And he'll score. Touchdown, Eagles. Elliott on for the extra point. And with that, the lead is up to eight. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. This will be fielded at the 6. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Cowboys offense heading back out and ready to go again. here to his running back and he'll get about four across the 30 to the 32. When you find that kind of yardage you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier and guess what you're gonna go back and tell your offensive coordinator I'd like to keep carrying it thank you. Now 
And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. And Beasley with it over the middle. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. The Cowboys on third down, lacking much success, just two for seven to this point. This time it's third and three. Now a toss play. It's Morris, and he'll get nothing out of that one. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. And that's one of the few times they've been able to contain him. He's had a heck of a game, and maybe he's getting a little bit tired from how many times he's carried the ball. But I always think back to what all those old coaches say. The ball's not that heavy. Keep carrying it, kid. Out now comes the Cowboys punter as he'll come on to kick this one away. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. Carson Wentz and the Eagles make their way out to the field. The lead is theirs here in the third quarter, but it's really been the ground game that's been the recipe for success. You mean the spotlight isn't shining as brightly on the guy throwing it? No, it's the man behind him that's had a heck of a game. And that's really okay. That's actually what you're looking for. I mean, your pride tells you, hey, I want to be responsible. I want to throw a bunch of touchdown passes. But when you're able to run the football, typically speaking, your team's doing pretty well. And in this case, they're winning. We'll see if they have balance on this drive. They go play action here on first down. And down he goes. They bring down Wentz on the sack. David Irving in there to drop him for his second sack now here tonight. Now, that was just absolute perfect man coverage. Nowhere for them to go with the football led to a sack. And that's really difficult to do in today's NFL with all these gazelles running around that you're trying to cover in the secondary. taken down at the 18. A pickup of seven there, but they'll still have 12 yards to go on third down. That was a good run, probably right on the edge of breaking into something really big. So the defensive guys right now are talking about, okay, what can we do to slow him down before he truly gets started? The Eagles on third down. They've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This is third down and 12. Working from the gun, Wentz. Gonna look deep for Jeffrey. He's got a man complete. And he's brought down, but not before getting across midfield to the 45. They give him a gain of 37. Great patience in the pocket. Of course, it's easy to be patient when the protection's good, and it was. Yeah, you've got to pat those guys on the helmet and say thanks because they gave him plenty of time to stay back there, survey the field, go through the reads that he wanted to, and deliver the ball accurately. That was really well executed. So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and no more. No gain on the play, it'll be second down. Well, he didn't make headway on that one, but he's had plenty of carries all night long. I just wonder if maybe he's a little bit tired from tilting the rock that much.
Now Wentz throwing on second down. Looking sideline incomplete. Johnson the intended target, and it's third down. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he let him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground incomplete. Third down here for the offense after the incomplete pass. Here's Wentz to throw. Pressure, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back right around the 44. Tyrone Crawford able to get him down for a loss of 11 on the play, and it'll be fourth down. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Here's Donnie Jones now, as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. And this will be taken at the 13. They'll call this a 41-yard punt, 7 on the return. And out will come the offense as they take over. And now here come the Cowboys. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, realize it hasn't worked <laughs> go to so something well, else. and maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. Prescott looks to throw on first. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Williams. And he is out of bounds, getting it across the 30-yard line. Give him 11 yards and time and a new set of downs. comes to the line now first and ten Prescott now option right and he'll get this up to about the 40 nine yards on the first down keeper and it's second and one well, if you're going to run the read option, typically, you've got to keep an eye on the defensive end. And what does that mean? What are you looking for with a defensive end? Well, you want to play off of what he does. If he collapses inside towards the running back, then you pull it and take it yourself outside in. If he stays outside, you go ahead and leave it with the running back. In this case, pulled it and got good yardage himself. to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Arlington. It's the Cowboys in possession of the football, but they trail here as we begin the fourth quarter of play. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So up through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. So the run gets him the first, and now they operate with a fresh set of downs. 
Here's Prescott. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. Second down throw for Prescott. Going right side. He has Winton. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? Prescott from the gun on third. And this is going to be incomplete. Out now comes the Cowboys punter. He's been terrific so far. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. This one angles out of bounds in a good spot in the coffin corner. And they're going to mark this out of the five-yard line. The Eagles offense now, they head back on the field. They're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. Very tough spot here for the offense to start. They'll start out on the ground with a Jay. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. A tight game like this. Such a tough spot for the offense to be in, even though they have the lead Charles back up so close to their goal line. They got to protect the football. And that's when you have to take care of your team with play calling as well. Not a lot of misdirection, not a lot of counters, not a lot of plays where you have extra ball handling. Get it right to the hands of your running back. Tell him to take care of the ball and try to move forward. And some room for him there as he'll take this up to about the 15. They give him about four on the play, but he's marked short, so it'll be third and about the length of the football. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. And he's brought down, but following a pretty juke move that gives him the first down. Call it a gain is seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. So the run moves the chains, and here we go on first down. Four 
Now they try the right side here. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Call it a loss of two on the play. And it'll be second and 12. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it. And the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. And they're behind the sticks here a bit now, dealing with a second and 12. Now they'll throw it. Wentz. And he's got some space here. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. Give him seven on the play. And that's going to bring up a third down. on third down five out of nine thus far this will be third and five now wins and that is incomplete well we're not playing three yards in the cloud of dust football anymore i kind of get why those old school coaches sometimes didn't want to throw the football because if it's popped up in the air it almost turns into slow motion and both sides trying to get to the football and you're holding your breath wondering whether it's going to go good or bad for your team. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And that one hits a little too close to the goal line and it continues into the end zone for a touchback. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline, puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Play action now, Prescott. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Des Bryant, the intended receiver, and that'll bring up second down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Second down throw for Prescott. On the left side, he finds Beasley. And they'll get him down here at the 23. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. The Cowboys on third down. Not so hot. Two for nine to this point. This is third and seven. Prescott from the gun. And that's caught by Beasley. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. That goes for a gain of 31. And that's an offensive line you and I can play it behind. How about the amount of time they gave their guy to scan the field and find someone open? Had all night, and in a game like this, probably should just put a spotlight on them instead of the quarterback. And now a first down following that long game. Check, check, check. Check, check. 
Prescott yet again. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he's brought down. Ten more there and another first down. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. So many times we see the crossing route start as a quick hitter, but in this play, he had time in the pocket and waited for him to clear going across. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. And to give this time to the tailback. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. 11 more yards that go around. A first down as well. Really good, skillful, tough running throughout this contest. Picked up first down after first down. He's got to have a nickname, doesn't he? How about the human first down machine? I think that fits. Set of downs, and they're at the one. First and goal. Out of the gun. Here's Prescott. That's going to go as a loss of seven, and it'll set him back for second down. Offense walks to the line for play number seven of the drive. Now flags fly in, and one of the Cowboys looked like he got going a little early. False start offense. They expect this from the visiting team when playing indoors, but not the home team. They're supposed to get all the advantages, right? The home crowd's supposed to help them. They forgot where they were, perhaps. taken down here at about the 11. Only a couple yards there, and that's going to set up a long third and goal. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. Prescott on third and goal. here as he's taken down Fletcher Cox in there to make the play it'll be a loss of 14 and it'll bring up a fourth down the amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary let's just face it this offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush it's been demonstrated time and time again
So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. And remember, he had one blocked earlier. And this one is going to just tuck into the bottom left corner as he gets it to go. And that'll get the lead down to five. So an interesting call there to take the three. I guess they're thinking their hands were tied, but in the fourth quarter, that field goal, it really might not help them much at all. Yeah, I mean, you still need a touchdown. Another field goal does you no good, so it'll be interesting to see what the media reaction is if the score stays where it is. Back out Nugent now after the field goal as he'll send it away. This is taken at his four. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. Here comes Eagle offense now as they get set to take over here. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. And the offense here just looking to stay in bounds, complete the short passes, and put this game on ice. They'll begin the drive with a giant. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. Time for a break. We'll come back, see what transpires after this. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. So it'll be first down here after the run. Now a handoff here to his running back. And they get him down right near the midfield strike. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. All right, so the timeout over and all 11 men back out onto the field for the defense. And he'll give it here to his running back. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. And now with 1.52 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. And now following that timeout, the defense back out onto the field. The Eagles on third down. They've hit on half of them. Five for ten. Here it's third and two. To throw is Wentz. The open man is Smith. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. 
And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. So a defensive timeout, chance to regather, regroup, and get set as we resume action. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. And to give this time to the tailback. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. Calling no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. And there's a nice stop for the defense. They've had a tough time containing this guy all game long, but maybe they can build a little bit off of that play, a little bit of confidence, a little bit of momentum. Yeah, every now and then you can actually tackle that guy. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. The Eagles on third down. They've converted six times and could use a seventh here. This is third and nine. Wentz with a kneel down, and that will be the final act of this game. How about the fellas with the stars on the side of their helmets rising up on defense? We always hear about the Cowboys rushing offense. Their rush defense is pretty good as well, I think, because they're so cohesive. Defensive line linebackers really work well together. So they're going to come to the line here, and it appears try to go for it on fourth. A road win in the National Football League. Charles, you never take that for granted, no matter who you're playing, no matter where you're playing. You take it and you run with it. <laughs> and you know you primed the pump all week in your own home facility. No one thinks we can do this. Only people who believe are right here in this room. And then you go on the road, band together, and get it done. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say good night from AT&T Stadium.